not smiling here tonight. It's all business for Godzilla. Chris Christopolides, Michael Chabello ringside with Mark the Hammer Castanini and the super promoter himself, Tarek Solak. And Tarek, doesn't he look determined here tonight? Big Chris. Yes, uh, it's great to see Chris back in action. Uh, he's one of the best fighters that we have with the best charisma. He's got a lot of charisma. This is why he's nicknamed the charisma. Well, he is one of the top eight K1 fighters in the world. And for the past three years, he has been the premier Japanese heavyweight fighter taking on where Masaki Satake left off. He is the one and only Musashi. And when they need a K1 fighter to fight a giant in the world of K1, Tarak, they usually call up this man, Musashi. Yes, they do. And at the moment, the Japanese fighters are on fire. As we all know, Masato won the K1 Max World Grand Prix. So Japan has gone mad. First time a Japanese fighter has ever won any tournament. So this is big news for the Japs. I'm sure Musashi's got a lot to prove here tonight. Let the world know that Japs are in the market in fighting. Well, Tarek, as we saw in the earlier fight, Soishi put up a very brave battle against Jason Suddy. Everyone uh, thought Suddy would have a walk through, but that uh, was a very tough Japanese opponent. And they truly fight with a lot of warrior spirit. And this man here will be no different. He'll be there to the bitter end, Musashi, if he has any say in it at all. OK, let's go across to the King, Billy Fisher and Stacey McMahon. This is our K-1 super fight over three three-minute rounds under K-1 rules. In the blue corner... Ladies and gentlemen, he comes out of Melbourne. He's a former Australian heavyweight champ, a K-1 four-man tournament winner, trained by Hall of Famer Johnny Sheena. He's Godzilla. Let's hear it, Chris Christopolini! is the best Japan has to offer, the current K1 Japan champion. Ranked top eight in the world, 49 fights for 26 wins, nine of those by knockout. Let him go, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Let's give him a Melbourne welcome, Musashi. Well, as Billy Fisher said, Musashi, the best that Japan has to offer. Third man in centering will be Yuji Shimada of Japan. And we are set for our super fight over three rounds. Hammer can Chris Christopolides do the unthinkable and knock out one of the best eight fighters in the K1 yeah. world? Three knockdown system, OK? No head about thing, no head about that, no that growing, OK? Free fight, free fight. Check out. Here we go, Ooh, Chris Christopolides. Well, I tell you what, Michael, had uh, lunch with Johnny Skida and Chris Christopolides this week. And, you know, this is a, the opportunity of a lifetime that's been afforded to him. I said to Chris, enjoy the ride, enjoy the publicity that, uh, that Tarek Solak uh, brings around his events and bring it on home here tonight. No friendliness, no smiling, no giggling. Just bring it on. And I want to see a very determined Chris Chrysopolidis in center ring oh, right here. Big Chris comes out smoking early on with the handiwork. He's going to go for the knockout on Musashi. Inside thigh to Musashi. Then to the outside thigh. Double jab from Chrysopolidis. Outside thigh kick again and another one from Chrysopolidis. Musashi backed against the ropes. Chrysopolidis opening up very powerfully here, Tarek. Yes, sir. Uh, he's got a... He's got a lot to prove here, and I'll tell you what, you can't start any better than this. He's doing a great job at the moment. Well, he's not giving any respect at all to Musashi, and that's exactly uh, the way that the Skeeter camp uh, planned it. Nice work from uh, Chris Musashi calling him forward, saying, come on, Big Chris, is that all you've got, son? Round kick from Musashi. Is it to really launch any of his shots on Chris? Chris has overwhelmed him early on. Well, I yes. think Tarek, mentally, if Chris can survive the first round, get back to the corner and get charged up by Johnny and the crew, He's going to, his confidence will grow as this fight progresses. That's right, it's only a three-round fight, and the first round counts a lot on these fights. Fight. However, he has to be very careful with Masashi's left round, which is his best weapon. Masashi, the reigning K1 Japan champion, nice couple of leg kicks to that outside right thigh. Masashi fighting southpaw here in centering. 
Another big sweeping leg kick there from Chrysopolides. Rib kick there. That's the one Tarek Solak set to look out for. Good gut much in front kick from Musashi. Chris has got to close the gap and work his hands. Well, Musashi, of course, a uh, southpaw fighter. Chris Opolides wants to throw a lot off that rear because the, uh, the southpaw fighters, you all should always employ your right side more against them. Looking very fit here. He's been prepared to treat Chris Chris Opolides. Ties him up, right. trying to work the knees. Yes. Referee Shimano separates both men. One minute, 50 times. Harrick, how do you see it? Well, Chris is definitely doing most of the work. Uh, maybe he's not getting clean shots on, but he is definitely doing most of the work. And uh, if somebody has to win a round, I think Chris is the man. Well, Chris is attacking the legs well, Michael. He's working these uh, leg attacks well, but Musashi... Beautiful rim shot the real leg there. ...of the best Japanese K1 fighter. Big step across, leg kick from Chris, and he caught him with a short right hand. Only a slip on that major sponsor, Crazy John's logo in century. Musashi yet to really unload on Chris Opolides. Lifted him off the ground with that leg kick in Big Chris. And again, just chopping away on that right quadricep. Nice one, two, then downstairs for the leg kick for Sopolini. one of his best opening rounds we've seen in a long time. He's using that uh, left step across round kick for Sopolini as well. He's got to keep his hands up. Doesn't want to drop him when he goes in for the chopping leg kick. Or else Musashi will power through with that left hand. Tried to work the knee upstairs, right. did Chris. And referee Shimada separates both men. Final Push. seconds now. Stop. And there it is. End of the first round, Hammer. Well, locked that round away for Chris Opolides. The busier of the two, but Kusashi, you get the feeling that he's just a, a sleeping giant, just sitting there, he's waiting, he's seeing what Chris has to offer. He's now seen now uh, how Chris goes, and let's see how Musashi comes back in the second round. But lock that first round away from for uh, Chris Opolides. Tarek, how did you score it? I think I think Chris also won the round, but uh, Musashi's got to stop sleeping and uh, waiting as a sleeping giant because it's only a three-round fight. Exactly right. If he drops one more round, he's out. Exactly right. Well, Masashi's uh, now seen what Chrysopolidis has to offer. And in the second round, it's going to be interesting to see how the Japanese fighter goes. Second round of action. We are set for three in our super fight. Michael Chavello, Mark Castanini, and the super promoter Tarek Solak, who has put on another sellout event here at the Melbourne Town Hall. Musashi against the much bigger Chris Christopolides. The size won't matter, Musashi, though. Last time out over in Las Vegas, he went up against the seven foot two Brazilian Montana Silva and won the fight when De Silva was disqualified. Don't forget, folks, tickets are now on sale for the big one on November 30 at the Vodafone Arena. No respect to Mike Sambides and Gurkhan Oskar in the ultimate grudge match. Meanwhile, Chris Sopolides opening up strongly again. Musashi going to town now on that rear kick that Tarek Solak mentioned in the first. There was a very powerful two kicks there. One to the head, one to the body. The head one got, did get blocked, but the body one did go in pretty, pretty comfortably. Well, Tarek, he called it up well with that rear round, uh, round kick from Musashi. The left round kick is definitely power-packed. Nice right hand from Christopolides. Caught him sweetly. Musashi creating the distance so he can launch that rear leg round kick again. Trying for a long-ranging leg kick to the lead thigh there. Chris double forearm get against that beautiful rear kick. Needed the midsection from Musashi. And Tarek, you get the feeling Musashi just building up the pressure now. Nice left hook from Chrysopolides on Musashi, but Musashi starting to step it up a bit now. The Japanese crew earlier this week saying they want to knock out Chris Chrysopolides here tonight, Tarek. And uh, Chris just started to take the, get on the back foot and start to move back, which is not a good sign on his behalf, giving Musashi the courage to throw those kicks. Those kicks are dangerous and they're very powerful. Also, his left knee is very dangerous. Musashi hailing from a Sado Kaikan background, a Sado champion. Chrysopolides looking for the big good night Irene what? right hand and the setup knee hasn't come for him so far. Well, Musashi has fought the best that K1 has to offer. Don't if forget. Not, uh, if I'm not wrong, he's fought Hoost, he's fought all of them, he's fought Peter Ertz, he's fought the late great Andy Hart. Here's the man who retired, the legendary Nobuaki Kakuda earlier this year in Las Vegas, Hammer. Vegas, that's right, Michael. He fought, he fought Jerome Labana, he fought everybody in the tournament. That's, that's why he's got 40-something 40, 40 fights and he's, 
won about 30 and lost about 20. He's lost to the best Fight. fighters in the world. But he doesn't care. He just keeps fronting up against the big guns. Musashi, the Japanese warrior. Chris Sokolini ties right. him up against right. the ropes. Shimada separates both right. men. Watch out. Good. Nice lead up jab from Krasopolini is getting through the guard of Musashi. This has been Musashi's round so far after Chris took the first one unofficially, of course. Uppercut there from Krasopolini. His work rate has dropped in this round and Musashi's really picked up the pace, Terry. Yes, Musashi's definitely won this round, especially with those rip kicks. He just threw another one just then. Chris is trying to kick his legs, but Musashi is checking those leg kicks very well. And he's countering back with a big left end or a big left kick. Nice body shot there from Musashi, dropping it off the rear hand. Another one dropping down to the bread basket. Trying to get Chris side on and work the knee up to the head. Chris negates it. Straight right hand from Chris. Referee had called break. Well, I tell you what, both of you gentlemen have scored it to uh, Musashi. I don't have it that way. I'll uh, call that one the draw as Tarek stabs him in the arm with a pen. Wow. <laughs> But uh, it is a close fight. There's nothing in it. Musashi landed some good left side attacks. Chrysopolides landed some nice step around left kicks. It's good that you got your own opinion, Mark, but looks like we'll have to educate you a little bit. <laughs> Musashi definitely scored clean shots, and he scored about four or five of them in that round. That counts for something. Take nothing away from well, Chris. We'll have a look at the replay Chris, now. Chris is fighting a great fight. However, his now low kicks are getting checked on this round, and he was on the back leg a bit on this round, so he's fighting a different round. Now, it's all boiling down to the third and final round. Whoever wins this round will win this fight. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll take that. Play, I'll play devil's advocate and I'll say it's a round apiece. And yes, it is down to the last round. It was going to always be to the last round. And Musashi, as it's going on, is definitely getting stronger. However, what we say means nothing because we've got three judges that judge this three judges. And if they think anything like me, well, but, you know. That must well, be crazy. That must be crazy like crazy John. <laughs> Okay, third and final round of action. I'm going to side with Tarek. Second round in my book to Masashi. First round to Chrysopolides. It is still anyone's for the taking. Here we go. Third and final. Oh, the big sweeping leg kick from Chrysopolides to open proceedings. Fuji TV crew on hand here. Taking this show live back to Japan. High left round kick, rib kicks, and Masashi opening up now strongly. Chris Sopolini's big right hand, outside Viking, they're pulling out all the stops in the third and final. Rick, 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 Rick. Well, the Japanese Rick. referee certainly has his hands full with these two uh, giant athletes in centre ring. Oh, what's happened to Chris? Maybe been poked in the eye hammer. A thumb to the Rick. eye, perhaps, off the glove of Masashi. He apologises, they touch gloves, Terry. Look at the respect from the Japanese fighter. If there was anyone else, he would have jumped on him and tried to knock him out. This is sportsmanship. Well, they certainly are renowned for the sportsmanship and their heart. The Japanese. Ooh. Big round kick, chambered with a lot of power. He's hurt him. Chris has got the rib kick and it's hurt him on the right side of the body. Right. Now Chris ties right. him up. Right. This is a power right. charge right. round from Masashi so right. far, Hammer. Well, Masashi is certainly power packed. He loads up off the left side. Chris needs to throw the right leg and right hand a lot more. You know, win, lose or draw, you can take nothing away from Chris on this fight. He is fighting with great heart, great spirit, and he's still attacking. Unfortunately, Musashi is attacking at the same time. This is a great final round. This is the fight people came here to see. Well, definitely the highlight of my night, that's for sure. They say to be the best, you've got to beat the best, and Chrysopolides is fighting the very best here tonight in the form of Musashi. And Musashi has taken oh, out of his kick fight of Chris Chris's Chrysopolides. I love that one. Big left hand from Musashi, the hook caught him. Chrysopolides resting against the ropes now. We're into the final one and a half minutes. Overhand right from Masashi, whistle past the brow. This capacity ground on the edge of the seats. Tarek Solak has done it again with another super promotion. The best shows you'll find outside of Japan. Well, you got to score. Let's score. Let's break it down to scoring shots now. Chrysopolidis landing the low leg kick. Musashi landing the uppercut. Front kick from Musashi. Rib kick from Round Musashi, kick. that's hurt Chris on the right side. Uh, that's the arm shot, it wasn't a body shot. We've got to count, it's got to score cleanly, Michael. Checks there from Musashi. It's been, it's been a very busy fight for Chris, his fourth grade, right. and I think right. Musashi has scored right. the cleaner shots the last two right. rounds especially. Musashi. However, this fight is a great fight, and yeah. I respect both men whether they win or lose. 
Musashi has brought the very best out of Chris Musopoulidis, that's for sure. Got to score that check, set, check and set. Oh, the rip shot again! Knee from Musashi. Musashi racking up some points now. All tied hey. up like a pretzel, Holding. nowhere to go oh, into the oh, final oh, 15 oh, seconds. Oh, now it's all come down to this. Can Big Chris pull out a surprise in the last the 10 kick. seconds? Score the leg kick from Chris Opelides. Musashi come back oh, with the, the rip kick. kick again under the right arm. Oh. And there it is into the third and final round, Terry. That last kick, I think, won the fight for Musashi. That's my opinion. Well, wow. the judges on this one. I'd score, the, I'd score this one almost a draw if you've got to play devil's advocate. But well, unbelievable, Hammer, I can say we have seen the very best of Chris Chrysopolides here tonight. Well, he's risen to the occasion, Chris Chrysopolides, win, lose or draw. That is definitely one of the best performances that Chris Chrysopolides has put in of his career, in my opinion. He was stepping across, leg kicking cleanly, he was leg kicking on the outside nicely. And for my money, I'd, I'd lean the way of Chris Chrysopolides. Maybe I'm a little bit sentimental, maybe I'm a little bit biased. But nevertheless, I still say that Chris Opelides made a bit of an impression here tonight. And for my money, I'll say Musashi maybe left this run a little too late. And I want to give this one to Chris Opelides, but it's up to the judges. Let's see okay. how they scored it. I'm going to go against the hammer. I'll give it just to Musashi. Last two rounds his way. But I'll tell you what, we've been watching Chris Chrysopolides for a long time. And this has been his very best here tonight, Hammer. He well, rose to the occasion. He rose to the occasion. He fought like the man. We have a representative the fighter, from Lombard, is. the paper people. Judge Malcolm Bullner has awarded it. 29 to the red corner, 29 to the blue corner. <laughs> Judge Dave Hedgecock has awarded it. 29 to the red corner, 29 to the blue corner. <laughs> Judge Mark Corey has awarded it. 28 to the red corner, 29 to the blue corner. We have a majority draw! A drawn decision, Chris Chrysopolides and Musashi. But Chrysopolides get it next the round. Do they go next round? It's a non-tournament fight. I don't believe they do, Hammer. I believe it's a drawn decision. It is a drawn decision. 